Hi, I'm Tara Casey, Assistant Clinical Professor of Law here at the University of Richmond School of Law. Virginia just closed out another General Assembly session and I'm going to take you through some of the highlights. So here's the General Assembly 2019 by the numbers. 45, the number of days in this year's General Assembly session. In even number years when the biennial budget is discussed, the General Assembly is in session for 60 days, but in odd number of years, the General Assembly has what is called a short session, meaning that it is set to be in session for 45 days. 2,362, the number of bills introduced in 2019, not including commending and memorializing resolutions. 24, the percentage of bills introduced in the General Assembly that died in a House subcommittee. Now this fact came under great contention when bills that had passed the Senate with broad bipartisan support were unable to get out of House subcommittees. For example, the Virginia Senate passed a bill, 36-4, that would have repealed the current state law that suspends the Virginia driver's license of anyone who doesn't pay court fines or costs that were unrelated to the driving offense. However, a House subcommittee refused to let the bill proceed, voting 4-3 mainly on party lines. Senator Bill Stanley, the Republican from Franklin, a patron on the bill, expressed frustration at the House subcommittee process, basically allowing, quote, rule by fiat. 38, the number of states needed to ratify an amendment to the U.S. Constitution. And this year, advocates for the Equal Rights Amendment had hoped Virginia would be the 38th. The ERA cleared the Senate on a bipartisan vote 26-14. However, despite this bipartisan support and GOP patronage, it was unable to clear a House subcommittee. Rewind from my earlier comment on that process. Now, national eyes turn to Arizona, which has taken up its own ERA bill to become the 38th state. Three, the number of words it took to kill legislation that would have banned the use of cell phones while driving in Virginia. Although the House passed the original bill, the Senate added three words in his hand. The House rejected the change, the bill went to conference, and ultimately a resolution could not be reached. Advocates have already begun plans for next year's return of the bill. 950, the number of bills that were actually passed by the General Assembly, with more than half passing by unanimous vote. Indeed, the vast majority of bills passed with less than 10% of opposition in either body. So although disagreements may have grabbed the headlines, compromise, collaboration, and consensus tended to be the norm. So what passed? 750 million. The amount of cash incentives authorized to be given to Amazon for locating its East Coast headquarters in Arlington. However, Amazon will not receive these incentives until after the more than 35,000 jobs promised are actually created. 2020 the year of the next U.S. Census, which means consideration of statewide redistricting will occur in 2021. The General Assembly approved the creation of a 16-member bipartisan redistricting commission. The General Assembly will need to approve this creation again next year in order for it to get on the ballot for voters in 2020. 21, the new minimum age to purchase or possess tobacco or e-cigarettes. The bill originated from concerns about increased vaping among teenagers but traditional tobacco was included in the new restrictions too. No number. The General Assembly removed the age cap on required insurance coverage for the diagnosis and treatment of autism. Previously, coverage was mandated for only ages two to 10. Two, two, two. On February 22nd, the Virginia General Assembly overwhelmingly passed legislation that will help immigrant children fleeing abuse, neglect, and abandonment in their home country to seek protection from deportation in Virginia. This legislation effectively overturns a 2017 Virginia Court of Appeals decision that had restricted a state judge's ability to issue a certain type of state order that is required prior to seeking special immigrant juvenile status. This legislation restored an immigrant child's ability to obtain this order. One, the Supreme Court of Virginia will be getting one new justice this fall the General Assembly elected Virginia Court of Appeals Judge Teresa Chafin to the High Court following Justice Elizabeth McClanahan's retirement this September. The soon-to-be Justice Chafin is a 1987 grad of UR Law II, so spider law pride. 140. The number of seats on the ballot in the Virginia Senate and House of Delegates in 2019. In other words, all of them. So, educate yourself on the candidates engage with them on the issues, and most importantly, vote.
To stay up to date on what's happening in statewide politics, policy, and law, follow the Virginia Public Access Project and support your local news and journalists. See you in a day. That's General Assembly Talk for All Done.